is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below all right pisces definitely someone here confused wishy-washy into minds are constantly in and out of your life there is a lot of confusion here with the seven of cups you will see either someone has their options open or there's just someone who's got like a lot who's very overwhelmed with the choices that they have or there's just someone who's very very busy right now okay the seven of cups can also mean someone who's got a lot of shit coming at them in the past i think you moved on from a situation okay you move forward you moved on you moved away there was some uh, um, a physical or mental distance that you created between you both or there was physical distance but definitely someone who at least if not physically mentally moved away or created distance between you both okay right now with the four of cups here there is some kind of someone's feeling very complacent dissatisfied you know feeling rejection or someone who's very focused on the past trust issues or someone who does not uh, is not being able to see the brighter side okay someone who's very focused on the negative side rather than watching the positive side i'm literally getting someone who's focused on what went wrong in the past rather than focusing on what can go right 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 now in the near future we have the empress so yeah that's good i like that you how you see yourself is doing a lot of thinking i don't think you're taking action right now i think things are stuck and stagnant there's a lot of thinking because in your environment you have someone who's still juggling a decision or someone who's very indecisive weighing out the pros and cons you know trying to balance out a situation these both these cards the hangman and the two of pentacles almost feel to me the same thing okay because this is also not action this is also no action you're both at a standstill because probably something ended here with the death here you probably are going through transformation okay but you definitely ended things with someone or you're wanting a change out of transformation and it's going to lead you to a lot of stress and sleepless nights in the near future let's see what's the seven of cups here why is the seven of cups here? Say again that that here. Someone's very confused about an ending. Or someone doesn't know how to change. Or someone's looking for a transformation. What's the death here? The death is um, a transformation, right? A renewal, a rebirth. What's the death? See, someone wants a reconciliation or someone's wanting to move forward here. But they're very confused because before they move forward, right, they need to end something or need to, someone's looking for a complete transformation, a complete transition into something else, okay? Like moving from the old, shedding the old and moving into something new. And someone wants some quick movement coming in, okay? Seven of Cups can also mean that someone needs to make up their mind about ending something in order to move forward that could be the overall energy someone needs to end something and they don't know how to they're very overwhelmed but they need to end things if they want to move forward right what's the six of swords why the six of swords so, yeah with the temperance here there was something that happened in divine timing something is going to take a lot of time and probably you had clarity and you finally had clarity and you move forward with clarity. Doesn't compulsory have to mean move on, but I think you got clarity about a situation, okay? And you wanted to move forward with clarity. This is moving into karma waters, okay? But something took a lot of time here with the temperance. What's the temperance? Four of Wands. Maybe there was some time taken before you could achieve the stability and security within the relationship. Maybe there was something, there was a lot of turmoil within your relationship. Could be a long-term commitment. Could be something as good as a commitment. Could be a marriage, okay? But probably you guys were going through like a very rocky phase. Going through rocky waters, okay? And probably finally you had clarity about a situation which took a lot of time. And it, it could have been uh, around a situation that involved marriage or commitment, okay? Yeah. All right. What is this Four of Cups? Why is this in the current situation? This is a lot of contemplation, meditation, you know. What is the Four of Cups? Maybe someone's contemplating an offer. 
What is the four of cups here? Okay, the four of cups. See, seven of pentacles. Someone's constantly contemplating an offer or contemplating a word that they want to continue investing into a relationship, okay? With the judgment here, someone either wants a second chance or this is someone who wants a resurrection or someone who's wanting to make like a very final decision. What's the seven of pentacles? This is someone who's still quite invested here, okay? But they're almost like reflecting. I'm getting reevaluating, reflecting on the past about what went wrong and trying to see if they still want to invest. Or this could also be someone who's reflecting on the past and waiting for the fruits of the labor, waiting for things to come into fruition. What is the seven of pentacles? Queen of Cups, yeah. Because see, there's a lot of love here. But see, her love for the Queen of Cups, right? Her, her cup is still shut. She's still waiting. I'm getting someone here who's still waiting and watching and not literally jumping in head first into a situation because there was a lot of past disappointment with the Four of Cups here. A lot of contemplation, like I said, right? Wanting to reevaluate a situation, wanting to think about a situation over and over again. But Four of Cups is a very low vibration energy. I don't think you can think straight because you're so focused on what didn't work out. You can't really see that opportunities that are available. Even if there is, like with the Four of Cups, right? There is another opportunity coming in or there is a renewal or some sort coming in, right? But there's someone here who's still not seeing this offer here because they're very focused on what didn't work out, right? Replaying the past over and over again, which is keeping them in that, st in that stuck and stagnant energy of the Seven of Pentacles. Like, should I, should I not, should I, should I not? There is love here for sure, but I think someone's very, trying to trust their intuition, trying to trust their psychic guidance. In the near future, you have the Empress. You have abundance. You have abundance. You have someone very nurturing. What's the Empress? Wow. Double Empress? You've got to be kidding me, bro. Double. That's like two Empresses. That's like a lot of nurturing energy, a lot of abundance. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Something's going to change. Something's going to be in your favor. What's the Empress? Why is the Empress here twice? In the near future for Pisces. Why is the Empress here twice? Wow, Knight of Cups. There's someone here coming in with commitment, I guess. This person has been overburdened, overwhelmed. This person could be having a lot of responsibilities. This person could be facing a lot of responsibilities. Very overwhelmed with the situation, but it's a very draining energy. But finally, someone sees you as marriage material. Someone wants to give you commitment. And they're coming in. They're coming in with that love offer. They're coming in with commitment. What's the hangman here? Yeah, so you're waiting and watching if you want to continue working on a partnership with the three of pentacles here things are on hold here something's on a pause you want to work on a situation here okay with the three of pentacles here you want to build you want a strong foundation but you're still waiting again i'm getting that four of cups energy here playing out very strong you could have ended things with someone okay in the past here and now this entire situation has transformed itself this person could be someone you were dealing with who was very, very non-committal, not ready to open up, not ready to be vulnerable. There's a big energetic difference between you guys. See, this is literally what I'm getting. There is an offer coming here, okay? There's someone here in the current situation who's wanting to give you an offer, okay? But you're very focused on that um, crying over spilt milk kind of energy that you're still waiting and saying, I don't know, I'm going to think about this kind of thing. But... You could be dealing with someone again. See, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, right? That's that's literally like an energetic difference, okay? That's like you could have a big age difference. There could be an age difference between you guys, but they're coming in. You could definitely be dealing with someone who's in and out of your life, someone who was hard and cold, you know, someone who didn't want, know what they want, or someone who was constantly procrastinating about whether they wanted things with you or not. But they're coming in. They're coming in with that offer because, yeah, they... I think this person wants to marry you. They see you as abundant. They see you as nurturing. They see you as someone very, very motherly, very caring. They see you very balanced. They see you as someone who doesn't need anyone. That's why it's attracting them even more. Right now, you're contemplating. Things are on a pause. This partnership is on a pause. I don't think you're um, completely in it, even when this person comes in. Because you're doing you with Empress here. What's the Three of Pentacles? Why things are whole? What's the Three of Pentacles? Why the Three of Pentacles? 
the lovers there is a lot of love here see I was just going to say twin flame connection there is a lot of love here this definitely looks like a twin flame connection it feels like a twin flame connection the king of swords keeps wanting to show up at the bottom of the deck so I'm forced to say that you could be dealing with an air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini we have a Gemini here too but you're definitely dealing with someone who's coming in with clarity clear communication with the knight of cups here I guess this person wants to balance the situation out. I'm still going to clarify so we'll know more. But I'm getting more of balancing rather than being indecisive or rather than juggling. See, four of cups here too. I think you're both in this energy. You're both still thinking about the past, about what went wrong, and what, what instead of thinking what could possibly go right. You could be needing to make a choice between two people, between two lovers, right? The lovers is also choices, but it's also this strong ass connection that you feel you're wanting to work on this partnership but again it's still that you know no action just thinking a lot about it what's the two of pentacles what is the two of pentacles that pisces has in their environment eight of pentacles see this is the, <laughs> what did i have to say this person now wants to balance the situation out there could have been a lack of equal give and take in the past that's why you moved ahead you move forward with the six of swords here you gave something a lot of time. You kept away from a lot of drama. And that's why you're in that four of cups energy. Because this person could be juggling. This person could be like someone who is um, constantly, uh, you know, running away from something serious. Running away from commitment. Some stability. stability. But yeah, now they're wanting to come in to balance out the situation. They're ready to work on this with you. What's the eight of pentacles? And probably that's why you're not sure if you want to work on this partnership. You're giving it. I'm, 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 I'm getting Pisces. You're taking your time. What's the Eight of Pentacles, which is okay. See? Can I make this shit up? I can't. That is a brand new beginning in love. King of Pentacles, Justice. Tell me that is not marriage. Tell me that's not commitment. This person's serious as fuck this time. Because with the death here, this person's completely changed, completely transformed. I feel like this person now knows what they want. They have like that reality check. They're seeing things very, very clearly is also what I'm getting. This person's got that alignment, okay? Maybe this person dreams a lot about you. But yeah, I'm getting alignment. I'm getting this person has knows what they really want. They have that reality check and they've coming, they're have coming. coming in with that transformation, coming in with that change. But the King of Pentacles, they're coming in to offer you something stable, something committed, something you always wanted. And it's good. things are going to move very fast, very fast. This person's coming in, they want a brand new beginning in love with you, they're ready to open up emotionally. You both love each other. You both love each other, but you just have trust issues, is what I'd say with a hangman here. The hangman is not trust issues, but I'm picking up you have trust issues, that's why you want to take it slow. You're still like, eh, I don't know, I mean, like, I mean, why didn't you give it to me when I really wanted it? Kind of thing, you know? Like, why do I have to walk away and why all this drama? Why did I have to end things with you? Why should there be so much pain and hurt? If you always wanted this or if you knew that you were going to come towards me, right? This person can't live without you. What's the death? Why is the death here? And Pisces is hopes of fears. Death and seven of cups. See? Again, more confusion. You're confused about this ending could also be. Or you need to end something. Okay could be okay i'm getting that someone could be okay now now i'm getting that there could be someone who's already in another relationship and someone needs to end things because we have the death here twice leave this death here but this one in your emotions right you for you something needs to end here okay but you're very overwhelmed with the choices seven of cups okay you have a lot of illusions what's the seven of cups I'm just, I don't know, I keep getting confusion. Ten of Swords, see? You need to end something. Ten of Swords here. Yeah. Someone's going to be backstabbed and betrayed, or you feel backstabbed and betrayed, or you feel the need to end something in order to start something new. But you're just confused. You just don't know how to do it. And with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck, it's definitely a partnership. So yeah, one of you is definitely married or both of you are married. And you both need to end things on their each side or one needs to in order for this relationship to come into 
fruition or and things to move forward someone wants to move forward like quick they're coming in you on the other hand with the lovers you need to make a choice that's why you're so doubtful because three of pentacles that this is a third party situation could be okay what's the nine of swords is the likely outcome What's the nine of swords as the likely outcome? See, this is stressing you out, Pisces. Queen of Pentacles. <coughs> Maybe you need to make a very, very practical decision. You need to make a very, very practical approach towards the situation, okay? You want something very stable, grounded. I think you're getting it. But yeah, you're in your head. You're up in your head. See, Two of Pentacles, you're constantly juggling the idea. What's the Queen of Pentacles? See, Queen of Pentacles is also taken, right? She's a lockdown woman. She's the married queen here. That's why I'm getting that someone's already married here. You could be loving someone else. You probably are in love with this Knight of Cups or whoever, but before you get towards this person, you're already locked down. You, you need to take care of other business also. What's the Queen of Pentacles? What is Queen of Pentacles? <laughs> Before you get single. See, that's what I'm getting. Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. You're going from the Queen of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. This is going from married to being single, to being independent. I'm getting there could be someone here who needs to work on their finances, someone who needs to be, who's very focused on their work and money before they can completely be on their own in order to get this brand new beginning with another person out here. There is a brand new beginning here. There is something, the potential to start something new with this person out here. I'm getting, I'm definitely dealing with some Pisces who are married or dealing with a cross watcher who's married watching for a Pisces. But there's a lot of stress around this situation, okay? Before you get going with someone else, right? There are a lot of things you need to take care of. That other business that you're already stuck in. And it's keeping you in your head with the Seven of Cups here. You're very confused. So, yeah. Someone needs to work on their money before they can get out. There's a lot of tension. Thinking about a situation over and over again. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, I keep sneezing. I had to keep pausing the video. So that's what I have for you Pisces. I hope this reading resonates with you Pisces. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.